Now, Homa Bay County has witnessed the groundbreaking of Phase 1 of the Akakoro Sports Campus in Diwa. Making the announcement, County Governor Gladys Wanga said Phase 1 of the massive International Sports Academy will cost $1 million. The academy will have a primary and secondary school, as well as a community water tower, with the Phase 1 expected to be completed in January 2024. The groundbreaking of the Akakoro Sports Campus, located in Homa Bay, is considered momentous as the county is the home of Gor Mahia Soccer Club, which clinched the FKF Premier League title on Sunday. Within two months, we will have football fields here. Where you are sitting right now, we will have our classroom, our dormitories. We will open our first phase in January 2024. So this will be in six months' time. Only with the support of the county government, this is possible. My brother Lucas, who is the investor, when you first came to our offices with uh, our brother Fred Arocho, you came and said whether it was possible for you to find any appropriate land in Homer Bay where you could set up an international sports academy. It looked like a dream from far. Because you know sometimes many people have come and they have said they are investors and many times they just disappear and there is no investment. It looked like a dream, but today it is a dream come true. The dream has come true because we have a contractor on site, yourself, you are here, and we are on the path that in the next six months, you have told me, we will be celebrating Christmas here with an academy that has football fields, that has classrooms, that has everything moving forward. We thank you for having faith in Homer Bay. Crossing borders now and 14 civilians have been killed in Wotan Sudan's capital Khartoum as rival forces are locked in a battle over control of the Khartoum police headquarters. According to human activists organizing rescue operations and evacuating, 217 others were wounded, including 72 in critical condition. The paramilitary rapid support forces, which since mid-April has been fighting Sudan's regular army, announced on Sunday a victory in the battle for the police headquarters. While army forces loyal to Burhan swear to recapture the police headquarters, a video footage released by the RSF shows the paramilitaries have already seized huge amounts of arms and ammunitions as fighting nationwide grinds on.